<laughs> I'm just checking your speakers. Um, hello, hello everybody. Well, not everybody, there will be no one here yet. This is just me here, John Danbury, um, talking to you on the uh, on the interweb um, because it is HD8 does QVC here for the old virtual Christmas shopping party. So uh, uh, if you are watching live, please comment in the uh, in the comments live. And if you're going to watch us on replay later, um, then if you're watching it on replay, then comment replay. Now, I'm not alone today. I am in. I'm going to take the festive hat off um, uh, mainly because it's a bit tight. It's my seven year old daughter's hat and it was the only Christmas thing I could find. And secondly, because it's going to mess up my hair. We can't be having that. Um, and uh, um, hopefully I am around the right way. When I did a, a, a doorstep sing a week or so, ago I was uh, I was sideways on most people's devices so uh, so hopefully we've corrected that today um, but there is things popping up on my screen so I'm going to lean forward and touch that knock that off um, uh, hello hello Adam Whittington you are watching Jack Everson there's gonna be people popping up uh, so Jack down all the way down in London I believe um, so hello hello London whoa it's so exciting there's people who can actually understand my accent coming on um, so I'm not alone in this Christmassy office well here we are in the studio today in the heart of um, HD8 we're actually in Denby Dale at Westley House which is where my office is where I reside uh, on a regular basis and this behind me is not even a wall look it's a big poster I got it looks like we're in the studio I've got no one in the gallery to feed things in my ear but I am joined today by Merwin Sayers from HD8 Network now she is um, a, a distance away for regulations, not COVID regulations, it's all down to the, uh, the restraining order. Um, but <laughs> and she is wearing a full hazmat suit and, uh, and, a f and a face covering. Now, I think she's gone a bit excessive um, wearing the Margaret Thatcher spitting image face covering, but um, at least she's got one. Um, but yes, we are here for the HD8 Does QVC. Now, in the real world, I'm sure the majority of you 19 great folks who are currently watching uh, <laughs> know that QVC stands for quality, value and convenience. But today it stands for a quick virtual Christmas. So if you, if you have any other, any other QVC quotes for me, please drop them in the comments. Um, hello, all those other people joining. I think we, people are, we're losing people as well. Um, but yeah, what we're going to do today is we are going to share with you some of the brilliant products that are currently on the virtual high street that HD8 Network Merwin Sayers has created, mainly because the Denby Dale Centre, just down the road from, uh, from us here, they were getting calls from lots of local people who don't have the internet and don't have access to getting to shops during the pandemic. So they were worried about how are they going to buy their Christmas gifts. So Merwin decided to put together this brilliant virtual um, shopping experience online for those people who don't have the internet, um, but also to create a, a paper version so they can then um, contact local suppliers, which means that people are buying their Christmas gifts from major international multi-millionaires or the supermarkets um, and places like that. They're buying them directly from the people who create them or bring industry into our local community. So it's a glorious thing to see. Um, and it's great to be involved. So I'm here today to talk a little bit about some of the products that are on the site. If you want to know more about any of the products, as we go, Merwin is going to be adding in the links of those those companies and those uh, artists and creators into the comment section here. So you can have a little look and um, click on. Uh, obviously, wait till after the broadcast because you might miss something dre tremendously exciting if you go away to look at the thing. Um, if you want to buy something, why don't you put that in the post? Say, look, oh yeah, I'm going to go and buy this as soon as we finish. Um, it's uh, uh, also other things that I'm supposed to mention. I've got lots of notes here. now. This is the thing tonight. This is, I don't have anyone from the gallery feeding me in, the, in my ear explaining what is coming next. I have notes on the table and on the desks and the chairs around me of all the products. I have 
some of the products we're going to talk about, some of the companies we're going to talk about, I literally have only seen uh, in the last half an hour. So I will be reading from the bits of paper that I've been given and the cue cards. We've got 35 people out in cyberspace watching us. Oh, look at that. Um, and uh, yes, I've got a call coming in. I've got a call coming in. Yeah, got to speed up. Um, so now we've got a few people on. I can start, I can stop waffling and start talking about some of the brilliant uh, products that we've got. So if you are looking for Christmas gifts, you are in the right place. If you're looking for um, supporting local businesses, you are in the right place. So thank you all very much for coming on um, tonight and uh, tuning out of Antiques Roadshow and uh, and tuning in to a, uh, a middle-aged uh, graying man um, with uh, with too many buttons undone. My, my, my old. Uh, my wife will be saying, uh, and if you're there, she'll be saying, she, she should have done that button up. But 70s porn star is my favourite look. So uh, so let's get to it. Also, I'm supposed to mention the Welcome Centre in Denbydale as well. Huddersfield. In Huddersfield. Oh, thank you. Okay. All right, thank you. It's the Welcome Centre in Huddersfield. And I'm sure there'll also be a link on the page um, regarding that. They are the brilliant people who help uh, help those in need during uh, during uh, this uh, terrible time and these festive season coming up. So it's a food bank and more. So if you would like to donate any gifts or any food to the Welcome uh, Centre in Huddersfield, then um, then there'll be information coming up on the on the feed a little bit later on. Um, so thank you very much for all those people who have joined us. I'm now going to start talking about some great products and I'm going to attempt to make it look like I know what I'm talking about. Not going to happen. So um, the first uh, products I'm going to talk about come from our great friends at Enterprise Print over in Honley. Um, so hiya Toots, um, Andrew Tootill and the team over at Enterprise Print in Honley, they have this brilliant um, service where you can personalise calendars for the coming year with your own photographs. Now yes there's lots of websites who also do this but they don't do it at, great, at such great value as Enterprise Print, they don't do such a fast turnaround and they're obviously faceless individuals where if you drop into Honley at a safe distance you can, uh, you can actually speak to real human beings. Well, Andrew Tootill. Um, is about as close as we're going to get. Um, so, uh, so here is all um, uh, 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 some calendars. I've got some bits of paper which are irrelevant, so we'll move those down there. Um, so, now, they are three different types of calendars. They're all the same price, are they? They're gantry. This is brilliant. They're all the same price. There is the slim style um, calendar, and this one is obviously Andrew and his family. That's Toots there, isn't he? Gorgeous. Look at the little chubby cheeks. Love him. Um, so, uh, so yes, so this is the slim style. Um, and uh, as you can see, each each page has a single photograph on uh and, the, and all of the dates all the way through. So um, with this one, on the front cover, there is also a montage of all the photos that are used inside. Um, 12 photographs is all they need to create this brilliant calendar. There's three sizes I'm gonna show you. This is the slim size. Um, and uh, um, yeah, so 12 photographs. If you prefer a different photograph on the cover, um, like with this one here, which is a A4 size, then, um, uh, then that's 13 photographs. I'll tell you how to do that uh, shortly. So we have a slim style wall calendar. I'm gonna pop that on your fridge. We have an A4 wall calendar, and then the slightly larger one, um, which uh, I presume is about an A3, is it? I don't yeah. know. I don't know. Yeah. That's yeah. the one, that's the size you always used to see in the 1980s and the mechanics. Um, where there was uh, ladies in, uh, uh, in a slightly state of undress. But these are just dogs on this one, to be honest. Some of those in the 1980s were too. Now, <laughs> shut up, Meryl's just going to laugh at me through the whole thing. Um, so yes, yeah, so we've got an A4, an A3 and a slim style calendar. So these are all, now whole fire here, these are all only Ten pounds. All of these are just ten pounds a um, a calendar. So all, you can order these for your friends, your family. They are brilliant gifts um, to adorn any home. Um, so how you do that is you um, you would email the photographs 
to Enterprise Print and all the details will be in this feed or on the page afterwards. Uh, ideally, you put in, title that picture as the month that you want that picture on so you wouldn't have a snowman in July, um, for example. Well, you might do, depends on where you live. I mean, if you live in Clayton West, it's quite, uh, uh, it's quite possible that it might snow in July. Up, up there on them in their hills. Thank you very much. I'm going to pass those across to uh, my child. Sorry, yes, um, it was on a stick. It's on a stick, two meters away. Um, so, uh, so obviously the calendars work better with the pictures in a landscape style than than a portrait style. But that's uh, a brilliant gift idea for uh, for all of you there. Some calendars and just ten pound a piece. Now, going to move on to our next local um, local business. And I'm going to talk about John Steele photography because if you've got, uh, if you want to have a calendar, you might not have photographs for the calendar. So it might be an ideal chance to create a whole new, um, a whole new photographic experience for you, your business, your family. I have some notes on um, on John Steele. Here we are. So. John actually does lots of the promotional photographs on the HD8 network site, um, but, uh, but I'm not really allowed to tell you that because he um, he's strong-armed by Merwin to do them on a plain white background so she can use them in the marketing materials. Uh, uh, but uh, if you go onto John Steele's website, which is johnsteelphotography.com, then you can see some of the amazing panoramic views and, uh, and exciting backgrounds that he creates for his uh, for his clients, both in business and in personal use. So I'm going to have a little quick look at the bit of paper I've been sent down here. So breaking news, um, John, <laughs> John Steele Photography. Um, so personal branding stuff. So what is personal branding? Well, when you are a business, you are the face of that business. So you, your staff, um, your dog, your cat, you're all part of the brand of the business that sell the business. So those are the things that will come across in your marketing material. So John creates some amazing photography for local companies. Um, so it tells people who you are and what your passions are through the art of the photography. Um, I would love to show you some of the photographs, but I don't have any of those here. We have some links which they will be put into the... Um, they're already on. Marilyn's yes. already on that. She's put the links in the in the feed already. Um, so that's that. But what about your family? What about um, getting some some memories onto a photograph? You can't. Uh, you, everyone these days they take a photo on their phones, and we never really see a printed photo, do we? Not not often. Um, and that's not the same as having a brilliant artist like John Steele coming out and uh, uh, taking you into onto the hills or into the woods and uh, shooting you, as, <laughs> as he says, um, and uh, photographing you and the family and the pets in such a brilliant, happy environment. So take a look at the um, at the lifestyle family photograph section on his website, which will also be in the feed. If I remember rightly. The business branding photograph um, packages start at £150, is that right? Uh, there's a selection of there's different... A, there's lots of different price points, So, uh, but that was one that stuck in my head because I thought it was for what he was offering. It was such a brilliant value for the business. He's doing a half-hour shoot for £50. A half-hour shoot for £50. No film in the camera, but he will be <laughs> taking you... Uh, taking you onto the hills or into the woods. So that, that's brilliant. Half hour shoot for £50. John Steele photography in January, apparently. There, so when I said there's no one feeding me stuff from the gallery, <laughs> I lied. Merwin is in the background shouting at me uh, to, to remind me to say things. Um, so brilliant, brilliant gift. Um, get some photographs uh, of your family to remember this, um, this quite forgettable year, isn't it? So... <laughs> So to make 2021 the year that we all smile in front of the camera. So that's John Still Photography. Thank you very much. Right. Moving on, we're going to move on to the arty section because that sort of links nicely, doesn't it? So um, John Still, he's a brilliant artist taking photographs. And uh, so we're going to move on to some, some actual um, proper art. So where are we? We're going to go here, are we? This is... Uh, no, uh, well, uh, uh, so many bits of paper Jane here. Middleton. Jane Middleton. Ah, over there. It's on my desk. 
Excuse me a moment, it's on the desk. <laughs> so Jane Middleton Art. Now Jane is a local artist and art teacher. Um, and she's created some brilliant, uh, some brilliant cards here, and she's been working on illustrations and selling them on her Etsy shop. So, uh, so you can buy Jane's artwork and her gifts that have been created on the Etsy shop, which again will be in the comments here. I'm having uh, just a sip of um, uh, gin. Excuse me. Um, should be having sherry, shouldn't we? We should be having sherry. Um, I said to Anne today, my wife, I said, we, uh, um, I've got to, I'm not going to have a drink now till Christmas, till Christmas Eve. I'm not going to have a drink now till Christmas Eve. I think that I'll definitely be needing a drink after this tonight. Um, so Jane Middleton, she's a local art, uh, artist and art teacher. She runs art clubs in schools and uh, within the HDA area and all over. Um, so let me have a little look. She's got some brilliant cards that she's illustrated and created. Now this one, uh, this one especially is... Um, is a brilliant thing for for uh, for personalising to your locality. So um, so it says because uh, obviously that you will see that in a mirror image. It says Merry Christmas from our home here in, and then there's a gap, which means you can have it printed with your village or your street or your town. So um, so it then personalises the card to to your place. Um, so it's a really lovely, lovely thing. Great quality card, um, beautifully printed, beautifully illustrated by Jane Middleton um, art there. So that's that's one of them. Um, I'll have a little look at the other notes and that in a second after I've shown you this. This is um, another one of Jane's beautifully illustrated Christmas cards. Have a look there. I think there's only six left of those. Only six of these left? What, including this one? Maybe. Oh. Only six of this one left, so this is a limited edition, ladies and gentlemen. Get this, uh, get this quick. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, that's there's only only five of these left. The phones are ringing off the hook, so get your orders in quick for this beautiful um, uh, Christmas kiss card. Uh, it says, "I've been saving them up. Extra love and hugs coming your way in 2021." So that is a brilliant card of the time, isn't it? Yeah because I'm sure that we are all looking forward to those hugs and kisses from our loved ones, friends, families, and random strangers, to be honest. Anyone will give me a hug in 2021. It'd be lovely. Um, so what else about Jane? So Jane Middleton Art on her Etsy shop. You can search for that, etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash Jane Middleton Art. Um, you find prints and cards and hand-drawn commission pieces. So she will, um, she will uh, illustrate things and draw things um, from, uh, from your commission, commissions as well. Um, and some, uh, as we say, COVID, uh, uh, COVID specific cards like this. And she does beautiful window art. And beautiful window art so as well. Shops or homes that want their windows. Ah, what a lovely idea. So yes, yeah, so if you're a, a local shop, a local business, or even if you are at home and you've got a beautiful um, front picture window or bedroom window um, that you'd like to be illustrated and painted, it's what a brilliant thing Jane does those too. So there we are. So there's uh, um, information. These are three pounds each, are they the cards here? Um, so three pounds each, the cards there. Uh, and uh, if you, um, there's a 10% to discount when you buy any three items from her, from her Etsy shop. So Jane Middleton, keep up the great work. It's lovely, lovely, lovely stuff. Um, very clever local artist. Thank you very much for being part of the HD8 um, does QBC and the virtual high street. Right, let's move on. We've got some more art, some more art. We're in the arty section now. We're in the arty section. Oh, and um, don't forget, um, while you're out and about, pop into Woolworths and buy yourself a John Danbury <laughs> Spellbinder Magic Set. Available in all good Woolworths. What? Sorry, uh, Debenhams. They're available in Debenhams for a, for, a, for a short period of time. Wipe the dust off. Yes. Yeah, Look, you can see how long I've been. Uh, I've been. When you look at the photograph, that is really me. Look, that is really me. How old and haggard do I look now in comparison to that? To, to that, and I still haven't got my button done up in that shirt either. So there we are, the John Terry Spellbinder Magic Set. Um, uh, please, my missus, ten pounds. Get them out of the garage. Thank you very much. Um, uh, we'll, uh, okay, so we were going to go on to some more art. <laughs> so. 
if you want to create your, your own art, um, no link for the magic set. What? <laughs> what, what there's no link for it. That's no good. <laughs> send, me, send, send me an email at johndavrytalksrubbish.com. Uh, and um, right, so the next, the next is actually. Um, uh, one of them, well, I shouldn't say that I've got favourites, but I really love this. I really love this. This is Sue Melville's Art Kits for Adults. So, um, at Christmas, aunts and uncles and uh, parents always buy the kids um, something crafty, something arty, um, which is lovely and brilliant for me as a parent. I have a, a, a couple of beautiful daughters, one 15 and one 7, and anything to keep them quiet in a corner while I'm drinking copious amounts of sherry on Christmas afternoon is a bonus. Um, but as adults, we don't really, unless, you're, unless you are crafty and you decide that you're gonna go to uh, the local craft shop and get yourself something, um, you, you don't receive a crafty gift, do you? So here's a brilliant crafty gift. This is the Sue Melville's um, Art Kits for Adults. So they are pastels um, and there's some great reviews on here. I've been sent this uh, this list with some of the Google reviews um, for five star Google reviews that she's been sent, and uh, and I'm going to show you some of the kits. I think there's four or five different kits that you can buy, and they have everything in. So each kit contains professional quality materials because if you're going to do something, then you better do it properly, like the professionals do. Um, so there's soft past soft pastels, which are actually made uh, in Northumberland. Um, there's hard pastels from Faber Castell, and top quality paper, either parchment or velour, depending on what the kit is. And you'll also receive a line drawing, a reference photo, a binder, uh, and uh, and some tea. <laughs> Brilliant! So each kit contains some tea to keep those uh, creative juices flowing. So some people said, um, I can't recommend these kits highly enough. Another user said, I've rediscovered my love of painting with Sue, beautifully presented and easy to follow instructions in print and by video, wonderfully relaxed and creative. I ended the afternoon amazed that I produced a piece of art and I was really proud of. So some really lovely, lovely comments. Um, so what are they? So here are a couple. This one here is the kit. This, so this shows you the entire kit. Um, I've just printed it out so you can see, but there'll be links in the... Um, Links in the comments below as well. Uh, so, um, yeah. there you go. I'm just trying to read some of the um, uh, some of the comments. Yes, time to get painting, Adam. That's right. Um, so that's a squirrel there that is created directly from this kit. So you, the kit comes with the, uh, with no art, and then you personally create the art using the things inside it. It's a really beautiful gift. Um, there, here's a robin one. Um, there are various kits and there is the Robin one. So have a look on the link for those. Um, they are uh -huh, 29 95 plus post and packaging. 29.95 plus. Mary is doing a behind the scenes video documentary of uh, this insanity. Now, um, so that's the Sue Melville Art for Adult Kits, 29.95. Um, the links are in the comments below. Now, I said to my wife that I wouldn't be long, but we do have um, 11 uh, local businesses who've got involved with this HD8 QVC. 20. Sorry? 20. There's more. There's 20. Yeah, but I'm, oh, I'm, I'm only, talk, oh, right. I'm only Sorry, talking sorry. about 11 on the QVC. We have yeah. over 20 on the website. So please do pop on to the virtual Christmas um, high street on the HD8 network website and you'll be able to see all of the local businesses that are taking part in this brilliant initiative to get people shopping local. So have a look at that. Um, now on to another arty um, one which is quite close to my heart uh, because I've been spending some time assisting this artist. So apologies if I keep moving out of shot, I'm just moving the paperwork and, and things out of the way. So this is, um, this is a young artist who is currently uh, trying to raise money um, for going on an educational trip to Ecuador because her parents can't afford the, the large sum of money. Yes, my daughter, Imogen Rose Danbury, is um, trying to raise money to go to a trip in 2022 to Ecuador. But she is a brilliant young artist in her own right and she decided that she would start creating some, um, some items to sell. So she started to create some phone covers. Um, 
and she has her first season of phone covers coming out. Some are cute and some are um, nature-esque, I suppose you would say. So here is a little cute dinosaur on a phone cover. Now these are £10, exactly the same price as, um, as the John Danbury magic set available in all good Debenhams. Um, but, uh, but sorry, uh, but yes, yeah, so this is the cute, uh, the cute dinosaur. On each of the phone cases, she does have her little uh, uh, Image and Rose logo on, so you can see it's a, a, um, a, a uh, hand painted item. This is a uh, butterfly phone case. There you go, there's five in the first collection, um, and you choose whichever your phone is and send Imogen. Uh, you can change your color palette. This is the, uh, the summer flowers. Um, daisies and sunflowers, uh, watermelons on there, watermelons, as I say, £10 a piece, um, watermelons there, and here's a little cactus. So they are the, the current um, season of phone cases. So yes, yeah, so if you just, uh, if you want to order any of those, um, she will have an Etsy shop up and running shortly, but uh, apparently her father has to do all that, so he's been a bit busy doing HDA QVC. Um, uh, well, he hasn't really. No, he's been too busy because I didn't get anything till today. I'm too busy <laughs> doing <laughs> doing uh, uh, my my real job. Um, and uh, so, so we, which is which is uh, which is messing about. Yeah, which is messing about talk, talking out loud. Um, the earrings. Now the earrings. She's been creating these brilliant little earrings. Now um, this, uh, these are drop earrings of um, uh, of aubergines which apparently means something rude to teenagers in the emoji world, uh, apparently. I don't know. Something to do with uh, gentlemen's nether regions. But uh, they are £5 a piece plus PMP if you're not local. If you're local, um, uh, then apparently her father will deliver them to you. Uh, so uh, uh, she hasn't negotiated a delivery fee with me yet. But uh, So that's that. Now we've got Christmas ones. So little Santa hats. All handmade. These ones were actually made this morning. Um, please tell us, John, what your work is. No, I, I won't. Uh, people have to guess. These are adorable little snowmen. Look at them! And she makes them all by hand. You wouldn't think that, uh, uh, that a lazy teenager, which rarely gets out of bed, can create something so... Um, so cute and tidy, there we are. Yeah. And candy cane. So there's three Christmassy ones and, um, and one uh, emoji aubergine. They come packaged uh, like this. So nice little gifts um, for your friends and family. So these are five pounds um, or uh, three pairs for 15. And... Um, uh, sorry? The tomato magic. Uh, yeah, I'm not performing any magic tonight. Uh, but yes, when, uh, when the world reopens, uh, for those who don't know me, uh, normally at this time of year I would be wearing a frock and jumping up and down on a stage somewhere um, with a, 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 a attempting to look feminine. What do you um, do for work though? Yeah, what do I do for work? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that's not work. That's just, that's just a normal Sunday night. Um, uh, and yes, um, but no magic, no magic either tonight. Uh, but when we are reopened, man, Jack shouting, magic, magic. <laughs> um, no, no. Um, but if you do want magic, you can purchase yourself a John Danbury a Spellbinder magic set for just ten pounds. All proceeds go to Imogen's fund because this is very expensive to send her to Ecuador. Uh, there we go. Uh, right, so let's let's move on. Oh, right, okay. So, um, so the next the next one is our friends up in Skelmanthorpe, and it's a brilliant place. If you've not been, pop up and visit, or uh, book something when we are allowed to go back and they do reopen. Um, I don't, don't, are they not open at the moment? I don't think so. No, no. I'm sorry. I'm, I do apologise to Think Forensic in Skelmanthorpe if you are open, <laughs> and I've just put all these people off of not coming to see you. Uh, if you are open and you are online now, please comment in the in the thing um, now I haven't even opened these because I thought it'd be really lovely to um, uh, to open them in front of you that I presume I'm allowed to open them yeah. and uh, and show you um, and I'm saying I haven't opened them because I wanted you to share it with me but really I haven't opened them because I just haven't had time um, so uh, so these are brilliant now and great for you have we got an age range on these is there an is, is there a particular age on these I'm not, uh, I'm not sure, sure. But we'll find out but they yeah. 
these are these these are these are for kids. These um, well, the first two definitely. The uh, the third one um, I think is a would be a great thing for an adult as well for any uh, pet lover. But um, it's not a game, Vicky. It's a magic set for you to be able to do. <laughs> Do magic. It's not a board game. You don't spin me round and I wave my wand. <laughs> Our match is John's game. Show us a joke, John. Ah, yeah, so back to the... <laughs> um, sorry. Sorry. Holla Willoughby in the corner, she's uh, giving us grief now. Um, so, um, so yes, yeah, so Think Friends Against Skelmethal, these are brilliant. And, um, you know, I, uh, um, I don't know whether Iris is watching, but she'll be wanting me to get some of these and bring them home because she's been playing spy stuff all weekend and watching spy stuff on the telly. She's being a spy at seven years old. Um, so, uh, so this first is the spy kit from Think Forensic, it is six pounds. So let's have a look what's inside, I'm so excited. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna spy inside. See what I did there, see what I did there. Um, right, so let's have a look. Okay, so spies wanted. Oh, look at this, this is brilliant. I'm loving it, I'm loving it. There's an earring. I'm hearing some coming pencils. There is a fake moustache because all spies need a disguise. Look at that. Look at that. There is a, um, uh, oh, this must be a light up pen, is it? So this, oh, okay. So ultraviolet pen, I would imagine. So this is invisible ink on the pen that uh, I don't want to take it out, but if I pull that out, the battery will activate and you can write something and press the button and be able to read what you've just written on the invisible ink. So that is brilliant. That's worth your six quid alone. I want one of them. Then you've got your uh, notepads to write your secrets. These are um, rear view spy glasses. Oh, look at these. I might have to open these to, um, to um, I don't want to break the box though. Uh, so, uh, uh, so um, yeah, so if I break the box, um, think forensic, I will be sending you six quid for, uh, for this. <laughs> We're going in my stocking to, tonight because I'm not wearing them so um, this year. So. Uh, let me have a little look. Spy glasses. These are rear view glasses. So look at how cool these are. Now, do I look like the men in black? Well, look at that. So basically, while I'm looking at you on camera, um, well, I'm not actually looking at you, I can only see myself. Uh, if I was looking at you, well, I'd be a peeping Tom, and it just would be a bit weird. Um, I can see what's going on behind me. Oh, there's a poster of a wall. Cool. Oh look, and there's a poster of a wall behind me. So there's lots of exciting things going on behind. That is really, they are really cool. Um, I want a pair of those. Well, I've just got a pair of those for six quid. Um, so great, that's the spy, uh, the spy kit. I'm gonna put everything back in the bag there. There's also a Crime Busters detective kit. So let's have a quick look in there, but it's gotta be equally as good. That's six pound as well for the, the Crime Busters detective kit. Merwin's already making a Christmas list for Santa. Um, so let's put that down there for a second and let's have a quick look in this one. Woo! The Crime Busters Detective Kit. You get a whole TV series. So, um, so get it open. This is very well packaged, Think Forensic. It's great. It's a whole Christmas afternoon just trying to get in the pack. <gasps> There's a pair of rubber gloves, Merwin. Yeah. There is. Fantastic, and we thought there was a shortage of PPE around the world, but no, Think Forensic have rubber gloves. Look at this in your crime busting kit. And this is fingerprint powder and a brush to do fingerprints, I'm loving it. And uh, so you can be a proper crime busting detective with the uh, uh, with a magnifying glass. Loads of just top secret notepad there. Some, um, some don't cross crime things and some information on how to lift fingerprints from uh, um, from the door and stuff like that. And so there's some brilliant stuff there in that. So that's the crime busting kit for six pounds. What a bargain, almost as good a bargain as the John Danbury Spellbinder Magic Set. Made of all good Woolworths. 
There we go, let's put that away. So brilliant, think forensic. There are two great kids' gifts there. Now this one is, I'm gonna to have to rip this open, so um, uh, I'm, uh, I'm being told to go for it. This one's, uh, this one's 10 pound, and this is a paw print casting kit. Now I'm just gonna, there's a notification come up on my phone, I'm just gonna squidge off so as I can see properly. Um, uh, Tracy, two tills watching. Tracy, you, t Toots was on first. You'll have to watch the replay. Your calendars were on first. And I took the mickey out of him. <sighs> right, um, okay, so this is a paw print, um, paw print uh, casting kit, which is a brilliant idea. So you get everything you need in here. You get paints um, and you get tubs of stuff. Um, not really sure what it's all about. What's it all about, Alfie? Right, and um, so this is like, um, um, what, what's that called that you put the, um, that you put flowers into? Flowering. Yeah, the, the green stuff that you put flowers. Someone on the things will tell us what it's called. I can't remember, but that's what it feels like. So I, don't, I, I pushed too hard trying to get it out. I've already made little nicks in it. So you get your animal's paw and you would push it into the, um, into the piece of foam here. It marks the foam um, with the animal's paw print. And then you have your plaster of Paris, I presume it is, or casting powder it's called, um, in there. And you would uh, you would pour it in there and create a cast. Oasis. Uh, Oasis, right, have you Googled it or someone put it on there? Sue and Laura. Thank you all the people who said, Oasis, that bloke don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> and it's true. It's true. Um, but yes, yeah, so um, so brilliant, brilliant, brilliant thing. So all the all the things to create a great um, a great gift, a memory of your pet. Um, so as you can keep them around. A vase, John Steele said. Sorry. John Steele said a vase. A vase. What? We put flowers. We put flowers in. Oh. Yeah, thanks, John. <laughs> it's true though. It's true. He's not wrong, is he? The thing you put flowers in. It's green. John might have a green vase. I don't know, do I? So that is £10, the paw print casting kit from, um, from Think Forensic up in our Skelman Thorpe. Um, I am going to have a sip of my coffee out of my corporate branded mug. Yes, here we are. Makes great telly, doesn't it? Watching a, a grey, slightly overweight man drinking coffee. There we are. Right, so... Um, Think forensic. Um, we are now moving on. So if you have had uh, burglars uh, and your children have found their fingerprints or you've cast your, um, your animal's paw in the casting kit, you then may have mess all over the place and you need to clean it up. Now, uh, sadly, these days, the majority of cleaning equipment, um, cloths and uh, and uh, sprays and things that you buy from your local shops or supermarkets are... Uh, chemical based so they're not brilliant for the environment but we have a great company Rachel has sent us some uh, um, some brilliant products she's a, a local a local business promoting the Enyo range of cleaning equipment so they are it's all about so I've been told it's all about the microfiber so I'm going to show you some of the microfiber right so I've got a little um, a little display thing here so we have some cleaning equipment and I've got loads and loads of um, loads and 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 loads of information. All right. So I'm not going to read it all to you here. I can tell you a little bit. So it's 100 percent carbon neutral cleaning fibers and they last for three years. They are these they are brilliant mat mitts, mats, mitts, jazz hands in there. Uh, mitts of all different and I'm presuming these all do different things but I'm unsure so that one's that one's for the bathroom that's the bathroom bad it does say on the these are all the way from um, from uh, uh, Australia I believe are they no, Austria I've misread that that's good completely different place they're from Austria um, don't go to Australia to buy your Enyo um, because they won't be there the distribution um, centre in Clayton West the distribution centre is in Clayton West right in the heart of it's where all the most important people in West Yorkshire live um, and Merwin. Now um, this is the duster <laughs> and uh, uh, and this one here is for the living uh, 
it just says living, so I presume it's multi-purpose. That it has two sides to that one, two sides. Um, different ones. I'll show you some new ones in a minute. But these are all the microfiber clocks. <laughs> that click in the background was Merrin opening another special brew. It's true though. Um, ah, brilliant. And these are all um, all um, uh, non-chemical based cleaning. So this is laundry liquid. So presumably you put a wash your clothes with that. Um, dishwasher liquid. So that's uh, in replace of your green stuff. Um, a calcium dissolver. Oh, brilliant. So if your kettle needs this scaling, some Enyo have some brilliant um, uh, some brilliant product for that too. And um, washing up liquid. Uh, also, no, so that's that's dishwasher liquid for your dishwasher. Mm -hmm. And this one is washing up liquid to replace your green stuff. Um, and leather and wood balm for cleaning your leather. So, and all the cloths uh, that go with it. And uh, spray bottles that you can fill up with the cleaning um, things. And we've, we found this as well. Rachel sent us this. Um, it's cleaning in tight crevices, I presume. Uh, but uh, I'm sure there is. Please, Rachel, I do apologise, um, and I will have a little look now at the at the actual information you sent me. Uh, but if if you can tell us what this is, both Mary and I would love to know. No, no, it's not from the Fifty Shades of Play uh, Grey playset. No, it is not. Christine uh, Dent says that the window cleaning cloths are the best ever. There you go. Um, well, Christine Dent was that? Did you say? So the window cleaning cloths are the best ever. Um, for, for cleaning your windows, so, um, yeah, so no, just the best ever, just the best ever. Uh, so that's so that's brilliant. We're getting personal testimonials on here now. Uh, I don't, toilet, Rachel saying toilet. <laughs> <laughs> so we weren't far from the truth, were we, Rachel? Toilet for your tight crevices. There we are. So yeah, oh yeah, no, I, I get it now. I get it now. Down your U bend. Um, so yeah, so it's a really cheap option. It saves people money as well um, because you you know, um, the last for three years, as I say, the cloths just give them a wash. Um, no more fibres coming off, so uh, no more asthma attacks, eczema flares from cleaning um, because it's all natural, um, all natural uh, ingredients in there. Uh, Christmas presents are perfect for those who've got very high standards. Uh, everyone who likes to clean. Um, so uh, now, Anne, I, obviously this is now your Christmas present because I know how much you love to clean and tidy up in the house. She'll be uh, having a right go at me now when I get home. Open the wine! I'm on my way! Oh no, I've still got another four hours to do. We're losing people joking. all the time, not even joking. Now, um, uh, so, and I'm not allowed to use these ones, but there's some brand new things here. Let's have a look. So brand new, please don't use on the go skincare and absorbent towels. Well, this, these are like, they're, they're little elf hats, but presumably they are for, um, for your face. Uh, beautiful, beautiful. And look at, look at this lovely colour, not using these. I would have cleaned something, but my office is impeccably clean because it's only a poster on the wall. Um, and uh, yes, and uh, these are all, Beautiful brand new items. What else we got? Perfect skin mint skincare. Brilliant for taking waterproof eye makeup off with just water. Uh, handbag SOS for spot cleaning textiles and clothes. A larger glove is also available and a mini drying cloth for blotting excess water after cleaning. Very good. Skincare body glove with soft skin side for exfoliating um, uh, and exfoliate. Oh, that's it. That must be it. Oh, skin glove. Oh, yes, because it's got a place your finger mm. yeah. so there's a soft skin side and an exfoliating side too I presume that's that's it Rachel if that's not it and I'm talking rubbish mm. I do apologize because um, I didn't even read it you know I'm right skincare it says on the label not as stupid as I look um, yes so thank you all very much that's Enyo so um, some absolutely brilliant product, products from Enyo um, and great and distribution centre here in Clayton West, uh, uh, just down the road from where we are now. Um, so all the information again will be on in the in the comments. Please log on, uh, take a look, share all of these inform this information to your friends and family because it will be brilliant to get more people shopping local, supporting local businesses, especially as 
uh, a lot of us have had a dreadful year um, from a business point of view. We really need to all pull together, stand together and uh, create a, a fantastic HD8 region. Um, so well done to all those who have um, been, uh, um, <clears throat> been helping out. Um, talking about people who've been helping out, I'm going to pass the new ones over to Mera and Nua. Um, talking a bit about people who've been helping out, um, I'm, lots of people have been creating brilliant items during the pandemic to aid, uh, to aid, I don't like calling it the pandemic, I, I was, I did, probably not my phrase, but I was using the phrase, um, the great pause of 2020. Uh, because I thought it sounded a lot more romantic, you know. You know, in the in the old uh, when when we're all old and grey or older and greyer, and our grandchildren say, "Were you really there in the great pause of 2020?" Oh well, yes, I was there. Yes, yes, it was fabulous. We all took the time off in the summer and did our garden, painted our houses. It was marvelous, marvelous. And then the whole world went to. Um, but there's been some. <laughs> been people who've been creating some amazing things uh, during the uh, um, during the pandemic and um, now I do apologize Catherine if I um, if I say it wrong but uh, uh, tippy lotto is what we're going for uh, or TP lotto um, and they've been creating these absolutely beautiful face coverings and masks they are um, handmade by a local craftsperson um, in Clayton West and they are just beautiful pieces of art as well as great functional items. Um, it's This one's an adult size and it has a metal uh, nose bridge. Um, Which is just amazing. Yes, yeah, so... Uh, um, no I, falling down. Do you think I'm allowed to bend it? Yeah, I'll have it if you not, yeah. So it keeps its shape, so it doesn't fall down. I've just uh, I've just curved it a little bit, so you can see. So it's got uh, metal, um, and uh, just an absolutely beautiful thing. So there's a, I've got three different designs here. Um, do we know prices on these? Wow, well, thirteen has she got some information? So there'll be we'll put all the information's on our website. All the information's on the website. Um, these are the there's uh, I was sent or on the Etsy shop. Or on the, on a, oh, we've got an Etsy shop on this as well. That's brilliant. So. Um, so there's three different styles that I've been sent, but there's many different uh, many different designs that have been created. Um, but if you don't want the normal um, lotter, okay, thanks, John. I knew I'd get it wrong. I knew I'd get it wrong. I should have yeah, found you first. Yeah. yeah. Apologies, Mr. Coombs. Apologies. So uh, Tippy Lotter. Is it Tippy or Tippy? <laughs> tippy. Tippy Lotter. Um, but they are beautiful, uh, beautiful face masks. If you want something different, if you want to stand out while you're doing your weekly shop um, or walking, uh, hopefully when we could go back into tier two, <laughs> walking to a restaurant table and you want people to turn their heads looking at your masks, then uh, um, then log on and order some of these. They are really, really lovely. The, uh, some of the best uh, uh, that, I've, that I've seen made. Beautiful, beautiful thing. So thank you very much for, for uh, uh, to Tippy Lotter. Did I get it right? Did I get it right that time? Did I get it right that time? No, no. The mask looked really, really nice. And they come with, the pack comes with two plastic bags, so you've got your clean and your dirty. Oh, the pack comes with two, but I wonder why they're in there. Two plastic bags. So, you're clean and dirty. Well, or dirty and clean. I don't know. Um, but so you can keep them, remember which ones you've used. Keep them separate um, to be uh, to be washed. Can they be, presumably they can be washed with the um, with the metal strip in them. Or you have to, might have to remove that. Yeah. Uh, there's a yeah, full instruction leaflet there. Um, so order some of them, they are brilliant. Um, uh, just saying, wash your mask as soon as possible after use. Uh, yep, yeah, you can, yep, yeah, brilliant. Yeah, brilliant. So, uh, so um, get onto the website and order some of those absolutely beautiful items. Thank you very much. Um, now we're going to move on to, I'm just uh, getting notifications coming up on my phone. Probably my wife saying, you said you'd only be 10 minutes. What are you doing? You're drinking coffee. You're taking a mickey out of heroin. Catherine says, thank you very much. Oh, that's all right, Catherine. They are, they are beautiful. And I, Iris um, has one of the children's ones. My daughter has one of the children's one, ones. And, uh, and that's um, brilliant. So, yes, she makes uh, little, lovely little cute ones for 
little people too. Um, right, so we're going to move on to a local business, a shop, um, an actual high street shop, um, who uh, unfortunately during the um, um, during the lockdown <laughs> was shut down like uh, like the rest of us. Um, but now they are reopened and taking uh, and taking actual footfall customers, so you can pop in and see them. Um, but there's two sides to the shop, so I'm going to talk about them individually. Uh, obviously, they're based up in Skelmanthorpe. Um, and uh, so we're going to talk about um, Be Smart first, which are a, um, a, so Nick and Sarah up in Be Smart, they do phone repairs, but also sell and uh, refurbish, sell new and refurbished uh, phones and um, uh, phones and tablets and things. Now, we have a very, very full hamper full of goodies here from Be Smart, who've just sent us some of the current wares that they have in stock, so you know what they've got. Um, so if you're looking for, and I've got lists of the things as well, and, and what the prices are, so uh, so I'm just gonna get some of them out. Uh, so Be Smart, so they sell so a wide range of uh, top branded phones and tablets, well, some of them are in the box here, and accessories, both new and refurbished, as I said. Um, the iPad Air 4, Wi-Fi and cellular, this is a, a 64 gigabyte 2020. If you bought it at Apple, it would cost you um, 729 pounds. Mm -hmm. okay. If you buy it from Be Smart, if you pop up and see Nick or Sarah, then it's 600 pounds. So that's a 130 pound saving by buying local. So, so you can't go, uh, go wrong with that. So they've got... Uh, um, some brilliant products like that. What else have we got? Let's have a look. We got the AirPods third generations, AirPod Pros, um, which let's have a look. The Apple price they'd be two hundred and fifty pounds, two hundred forty nine pounds, um, but at B Smart, um, uh, B Smart they are two hundred twenty five pounds, two hundred twenty five pounds. So a twenty five pound saving. So any little saving at the moment is brilliant. But not only that, you're helping a local business to uh, um, to create an industry uh, which is uh, sorely needed in our area. What else have we got here? iPhone 12, a red one. <gasps> uh, so there's uh, um, an iPhone 12, a red one. Um, and uh, what, what have we got? So the, the red one here is Apple price 799 and B Smart price 780. So another 20 pound saving there. So brilliant, um, or thereabouts. And then we've got the uh, black iPhone 12 mini, which is actually the same size as normal. The big ones, just the bigger one. Um, that's uh, uh, 680 pounds from B Smart. So another 20 pound saving off the Apple price. So some brilliant, brilliant savings. Um, what Christine we... just messaged saying why Thomas has asked why Iris Stud is doing the news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so yes, yeah, I don't know whether you heard that, but so one of our one of our viewers, uh, uh, lovely Christine, has just messaged saying uh, that her son Thomas is in my daughter's class at Kay's First and Nursery. Just asked why Iris's dad is doing the news. Um, so yes, so him. Uh, well, let's go over to the weather. Um, right, so I'm, <laughs> there's massive sign on here from Nick or Sarah on my paperwork. <laughs> Do not open these. <laughs> They're all sealed, they're all brand new. Don't open them. Um, all colours and memories are available from Be Smart. Um, Mary, just open that for me for a second. Not a chance. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's have a look. So they're not, they don't only do um, Apple products, obviously. They do um, some other um, Android products. So we have, uh, we have Samsung here. This is Samsung Galaxy A10s. Let's find that on the list. Um, it be beep, 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 a 10 s 32 gigabytes. Um, it's 135 from 135 pounds from B Smart. So what a brilliant, what a brilliant price that is uh, for that one. There is a Samsung um, tablet here. Um, the Tab A. This is a 2019 model, 32 gigabytes, and it's 165 pounds from uh, from B Smart. So some brilliant brilliant gifts um, let's have a look at the the earbuds as well because I showed the Apple earbuds and uh, obviously other earbuds are available um, these are the uh, the Samsung Galaxy buds and uh, they're black and if you bought them from Samsung they'd be a hundred and ten pounds 
But if you buy them from Beastmark up in Skelmthorpe, pop up, pop up and see Nick or Sarah for your discount, they are just £70. So a £40 saving by buying local. What more can you want? So absolutely brilliant. This one says try me on it. But I don't know whether um, I'm... I don't even know whether it's... Have a look. Yeah, it says try me, but then it's taped up. So, um, uh, so to be honest, Nick and Sarah, if it was a bottle of whiskey, um, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> let's at least get it out so we can show, show it in its glory. So what, what is this one then? This is the S25G. <gasps> That's a 5G. It's 5G. It's just, shh, shh, shh. Marilyn said she's got special insurance for this, Nick. So she's taken out special. Uh, 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 it's called a car that drives away. <laughs> yeah, special insurance against John Danbury. <laughs> uh, I don't even know how to turn it on, Nick. But it is it's absolutely beautiful and shiny and new. And look at that. It's shiny and it's got stuff on the back and stickers and things and, and all the things you peel off when you're unpacking. So I won't, uh, I won't try it, Nick, and open it, but if anyone does want to go and have a demonstration of any of these items, I'm sure Nick and Sarah will be able to help you out up at, um, at uh, uh, B Smartphone Repairs in Skelmanthorpe. Now I can't rebox this, Merwin. Merwin, what have you done? You told me to open that, and now it won't go back. We'll, we'll sort that out in a minute. <coughs> so. So yes, yeah, so that's be smart. That's the technology section. Now they also have another section in their shop, which is don't drop it, don't move along. Nothing to see here. Um, and so they have um, a vape bar also called Burt's. So Burt's Vape Bar up in Skelmanthorpe as well is also part of the Be Smart uh, area. And they've got a brilliant wide range of electronic cigarettes. I'm reading off the script now because um, uh, uh, I don't want to get this wrong. Uh, and e-liquids as well as a high quality range of CBD products focusing on improving health and wellness. Um, now for those of you who don't know what CBD is, it's a, uh, it's a cannabis uh, based um, derivative and it's uh, to help um, with lots of different illnesses and ailments it's uh, it's been um, widely advertised and widely uh, discussed in the in the media and they've got some of the uh, some of the top quality products in um, in the country up there um, so CBD is priced for more details on these products please visit blah blah blah, blah. Maybe we put that in the um, in the list please do not advertise the website though Please send customers to it. I was probably not supposed to read this bit on live, so I didn't. I didn't have the time. I didn't even say it, did I? I didn't even read that bit, and I hadn't said it because I can actually <laughs> pronounce it. Um, so go on the Facebook page or, the, or on their store, or pop up into the store. Um, there is there is <laughs> items that I may open and try. Okay, so these are um, cannabis-based oils. Um, no THC. Though. No THC. Stuff that gets you high. All right, yeah. So none of the stuff that gets you high. Okay, um, yeah, I understand that. Um, so uh, uh, so these are um, gummies. So uh, uh, just chew them up, I presume. And that's a pack for twelve ninety nine on there. And this is an oil that you just drop on your tongue, I believe. And um, that is uh, twenty four ninety nine. So really good, uh, well priced. Um, medicinal products there so if you're looking for something um, so what does it what does it help with it helps with anxiety and inflammation and um, uh, so I think some people who've got arthritis and, and ailments like that brilliant product for that so you can get that up um, up in Skelmathorpe or again off the Facebook page um, we'll be putting links on there um, all premium quality um, they are sourced from uh, credible authorized UK distribution companies uh, so you get a safe experience and their own branded CBD is currently in the making and being developed in a highly ranked certified lab. Oh, that sounds exciting, doesn't it? Yes, a certified lab. Um, so thanks, Nick and Sarah. Thank you for being involved. Um, if you're looking for some technology Christmas gifts or if you're looking for some medicinal products or you just, are, you just want to buy your vaping liquid or a brand new e-cigarette, then pop up to see them in Skelmanthorpe. Thank you very much. Pass over there. Oh yes, oh yes, yes. Which no. I have three no. attempts. Which, yeah. 
earlier this year. Right, so yeah, so Mary says she's had her phone fixed three times <laughs> this year. Uh, so yeah, so if you do shatter your screen, break your phone in, in some way, pop up and see them at uh, uh, Be Smart for your phone repairs um, and, uh, and get sorted there. It is something we all do regularly, I know. Um, so thank you very much. Right, let's move on. Oh, now, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget, I don't think I've mentioned it, but for £10, you can get the John Danbury Spellbinder set. Of, you can't actually, I've only, I've only got 400 of them left, so no rush. Um, so, uh, but now we're moving on to the food and drink section. No, Jack, I'm not doing magic. I'm just showing you the box. <laughs> How long have we been on? How long have we been on? Hour. We've been on an hour. I said to Al, I'll, only, I'll be home in half an hour. I've been here two hours setting up the studio lights. And, but this is the food and drink bit. Now, so, um, Holland House uh, award-winning cheese and milk. So, look at this. Look at this beautiful coloured milk crate with a so lonely bottle of milk inside. Collected from the farm. Collected from the farm fresh. This morning, absolutely beautifully presented from uh, um, from Holland House uh, Dairies up there. Let's have a look and look at this from the farm, Holland House cheese. Look how beautiful that is, and that's a Christmas one, old farmer. Jesus, and are we allowed to open this to have a taste? Yeah. Yes, we are allowed to open Do this it. to have a taste. <laughs> now, I can't open the milk and have a taste because I am um, I am lactose intolerant, which doesn't mean I'm allergic. Um, it means I'm intolerant, so I can't drink milk, but luckily I can eat a little bit of cheese to try it for you in front of you here. So um, so this is Holland House Farm. The milk is award-winning whole milk. It's 60p a pint and can be delivered direct to your doorstep. So an absolute bargain. Please help our local farmers. Uh, and uh, rather than popping down to the local shops or supermarkets, um, then it'd be great to get some of our local farmers get their products on your doorstep. Um, the cheese is an artisan cheese. I'm gonna, I do have a plate and a knife here just for this eventuality. So bear with, bear with. Excuse me. Hang over here. Knives, plate. I've got a bigger plate for the cake in a minute. But uh, now, how do we how how do we open the wax? Is there is there a, do I just literally have to cut through the wax? On here. I'm just taking the labels off because I don't want any paper through the cheese, do I? Oh, they're beautiful. Hang on, I'm going to wear that with pride now. Hang on. Right, so I'm going to cut through the wax. And I will show you the glory of the cheese underneath. Through. Oh, look at that! Look at that, it makes great telly watching people open and eat cheese. Marin, do you like cheese? Oh, does it get in your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> you just have half each, shall we? <laughs> uh, just, getting the, just getting the wax off, everybody. Just getting the wax seal off. Um, beautiful. Right, I'm going to cut a bit out now. <laughs> you do imagine you're making the cheese disappear. Yes. Sue from That's it, Sue. Cheese is vanishing. Right, so uh, um, let's just get... Mary Wynn, I'm going to pass a bit over to you. Try a bit of that. There you go. Thank you. And we'll get, um, see, Gino De campo has got nothing on us, has he? Mm -hmm. hey. mm -hmm. Right, so um, it is a mixture of cheddar, Cheshire and Wensleydale all rolled into one. Um, mm. <laughs> oh, yeah, where's the biscuits? Where's the Christmas cake? Well, <laughs> oh, go, go. Did you bring the port? Did you bring the port? Oh. Yeah, that is really, really nice. Um, Pagan, you're not getting the rest of that back. <laughs> How much was the cheese? Do we know? Five pounds. Five pounds for that great. No, oh, that is beautiful. Christine saying, really reliable deliveries, totally recommended. Yeah, really reliable deliveries, totally recommended. Um, I'm just, just in case, I've just thought I'd better cut myself on that. Just off in case I hadn't. Um, oh, wait. <laughs> Christa says, I need cheese. Cheese! <laughs> Bacon is beautiful. Well done. <laughs> oh, she's watching. Yep. Yeah, thank you. Lovely. Mm. 
Yeah. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> if there's people just tuned in now, we're seeing some bloke filling his face. Wait till the next one comes up. Right. Um. Mine. Lovely. Mine. <laughs> Cut yourself just a small bit, Marion. Leave some for me. Have yourself a glass of milk. <laughs> Anyone got a straw? Straw in the studio for Marion. Um, okay. So that was um, that was Holling House. Award-winning uh, milk and cheese, absolutely beautiful. Now we're going to move on to a brilliant local cake maker. Um, home bakes and celebration cakes coming from Grandma Frieda's Kitchen. This is what this company is called, Grandma Frieda's Kitchen, uh, from Krista. And these are locally based in Clayton, baked in Clayton West, using super amazing quality ingredients and baked with lots of love. So this is great. So they make um, tray bakes, celebration cakes. Uh, fortnightly treat boxes, all oh, great. So, yeah, I'm, I am supposed to be on a, a big healthy fitness kick here, and tonight I'm eating cheese, and I'm just about to sample uh, apparently some of the best cake in the region. Merwin's been drooling and eyeing up the box of cake since she walked in. Um, so, um, also, there's some, they've got some brilliant gift things as well. So, well, let's do this first before we start stuffing our face with cake. <laughs> yes. Right, so. This is a DIY cookie jar. So this makes approximately 24 cookies and perfect for Christmas Eve boxes, stocking fillers or gifts. Last orders for this though is on the 17th of December. So look at the beauty of this, look at this. So inside there is all the ingredients you need to make 24 cookies. Now, is there instructions? So, yes, in here. Little candy cane with instructions. So in the jar, there's your flour, your baking powder, uh, sugar, um, chocolate chips, Smarties, right? All you've got to do is get some, uh, you need some butter, uh, some egg, and some vanilla if you have it. And then you can mix it all. So basically, apart from your butter and your eggs, which they can't put in the jar because it will uh, perish, um, all your ingredients are in the jar ready to mix up and make... <laughs> Is that you? So good. Is that a cheese or this? Uh, cheese. <laughs> cheese. Yeah. We're on a delay on the comments. Merwin's still eating cheese in the corner. Um, so, uh, so these are um, really beautifully made as well. Lovely, lovely jars full of the ingredients to make your own cookies. Now, and they were nine pounds. Is that all? What a brilliant price. Nine pounds, 24 cookies, um, Smarties, chocolate chips, a thing of uh, a thing of joy, and a great thing to do um, with your with your kids over Christmas, making some cookies. So remember, last orders of those are up on the seventeenth of December. And uh, let's move that down there. Um, right. So what's there? <laughs> is right. Okay. How many? Oh. Is this 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 what's on this list? Is this what's in this box? Yeah. I guess so, yeah. Right, we're presuming what's on the list here that we've been sent by Grandma Frieda's Kitchen is what is in this box. <laughs> in this box. Ooh. Hello. Um, hello, those people who are just tuning in. This is me, John Danbury, eating cake live on Facebook, supporting local businesses. They have commented about you eating a mouthful. Talking in a mouthful. Oh, have they? Oh, well, sorry. I... I don't have a guest presenter. I might have to eat for you. Yeah. Okay. Well, when I chew this, I will. Um, I will keep quiet. So in here, we have. You're seeing it and smelling it, two different things. So um, you can't really see much without me tipping it out because um, I don't want to move the camera because it might fall out. So, um, Grandma Frieda's Kitchen, this is a brownie of joy. There are sweets and everything in here as well. Um, this is the um, cookies and cream brownies made with Oreos, double chocolate and Hershey's chocolate. So let me hold one of these things up. I'm going to take a small bite, so talk amongst yourselves. Is that 
absolutely beautiful. Merwin, would you like one? Uh, oh, well, you know. We haven't got time, that's all we've got time for. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, stuff yourself silly. Go on, you make yourself sick in the corner there, because you can eat, because you're not talking on camera. <laughs> that is, excuse me, more gin. That is absolutely mm -hmm. amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, Nick, you should be jealous. <laughs> yeah, such a treat. They are beautiful and um, taste glorious. Uh, so thank you very much to um, Grandma Frida for baking those for the Ameroids to stuff our face. How many is, how many is it in there each? <laughs> There's none left. There's none left. <laughs> Right, um, now they offer free delivery in HD8 or a five mile radius of Clayton West. Uh, collection is Ings Mill Avenue in Clayton West. So just around the corner from me. Um, uh, so I wonder what all that lovely smells are coming from uh, uh, from the road down there. So uh, there'll be information on that on the links. There we go. So that was Grandma Frieda's um, kitchen. We only have one more local business left. We thought we'd fit everyone in in an hour, but obviously because we've been eating drinking being merry and generally messing about and not doing magic and talking about magic um don't forget that you can get a john Mamrin's mel magic set for just 10 pounds from your local wards um and uh, um yes so the, oh, right okay so the last the last um business who we are showing tonight here on hd8 qvc um just a recap the, so we um we are promoting local businesses here live on Facebook via the HD8 network page because there are some people who can't get out um, to buy Christmas presents. So uh, Merwin from HD8 network decided that she set up this virtual local um, online Christmas uh, Christmas market almost. Um, so it's a, the virtual high street on HD8. You can check it out on the HD8 network website. And there's over 20 local businesses are advertising on there. There's also a printed version that can be collected from the Denbydale Centre, can it? Or um, posted out or, by or the Or posted out via the Denbydale Centre for those people who don't have um, who don't have use of the internet, so they can still order some of these great gifts from local artists and businesses. Let's keep our local businesses alive and support them during the uh, during the Christmas period and all year round. So um, that's what we're here for. Um, but now last company are Baxter and Boo. Now, um, do I have, there's information on all the things from Baxter and Boo and it's huge, I've got a massive um, box of stuff. So I'm just gonna move to move it. So excuse me. Oh, here we are. Is there any food in this one, Merwin? Who Quite knows? Possibly could be. Quite possibly food in here. Right, so um, hampers and gifts and things of joy to send or to your loved ones or buy for yourself um, during this uh, this final push of the Christmas season. They have a lovely little card, personalised card to the person it's for, um, and uh, so they can print that for you for when you're sending it out to someone else. And this is a, a lovely little basket created here with some gifts in um, I, uh, Lydia, I've made the brownie vanish already, so don't, don't worry, I inhaled Mary's it. Doing very good yeah, Mary's eaten four already. Not even joking. So um, in here we've got a, this, a, a, lovely, a lovely candle from Denbys Candles, um, a, uh, a little sign saying thanks for being such a great teacher. So this is like a teacher's gift, that's what this one must be, yes. a teacher's gift. And a little bracelet, so and a, and a bag for the bracelet. So a lovely little, um, a lovely little gift for, for a teacher for the end of school. Um, so there's lots of gifts like this, different things. You can check it all out on their uh, on their website. Let's have a look what's in here. All oh, more lovely, smelly, smelly stuff. So in in this one, I'm gonna try and hold it up here. In this one, this is candles and scents. Um, so there is a. Uh, um, another th from Denbys Candle. This is the this is a diffuser. In this beautiful basket, there is a, uh, um, a fragrance heart. Oh, it's a wax fragrance heart. Do you hang that? It smells beautiful. It mm, smells beautiful. Um, there are candles in here. Um, there is also a wick trimmer um, to trim your wick. 
Um, is that what that is? I presume so. I was looking at it earlier. What? Or nasal hairs? <laughs> Not sure. Um, and um, to snuff out your candle at the end of the evening once you've got your wee willy wink wonka, um, wee willy winky um, night dress on. Jack's uh, asking what flavour candle? What flavour? That one's raspberry, Jack. Raspberry yeah, blossom and vanilla. Raspberry blossom and vanilla. And sugar plum fairy. Ooh! Sugar plum fairy. There we go. Okay, so that was that. Now, what else have we got from Jack's from Boo? Um, uh, this is just three. The, well, this I don't know whether this was supposed to be stuck on the top of this box. This says there's only three or four of these available. Um, morning cup of hamper or head gardener hamper. Um, let's have a look inside. It's a big box. It's a big box. Ah yes, so this must be head gardener, morning cup of hamper. So in here is some Yorkshire gold tea, a, a morning cupper. A mug, um, some peanut brittle, peanut butter, butter shards, and a Yorkshire blanket. That is lovely. A beautiful blanket in there. That is thirty-two pounds. And that one. There's just three or four of those available, um, and a beautiful gift for your loved one. If, is that a better view? <laughs> is that a better view? Uh, at least you can't see uh, see my uh, shirt open. Yeah, and I'll be going, yeah, that was a much better view. Um, so that's that. What else have we got? More stuff. Perfect for outdoors, caravan, camper vans, Yorkshire blanket, Yorkshire tea. You see, if I'd have read the note, I wouldn't need to open the box. But now we've shown the box, that's good. Um, yeah, so there's some lots more in this magazine, info in mag. But we have an increasing range of themed gift hampers and ranges of products. So they've got uh, in Shepley magazine, the November version of Shepley magazine, they have a massive article with lots of their items in. If you if you haven't got a copy of that, um, then try to get a copy of that. There's um, blankets. Um, what's this? This is interesting. What is this? I know I'm really worth it, yeah. Is it? Is it a bib for eating uh, lobster? <laughs> it's a Yorkshire bib. <laughs> Yorkshire food. You do you know what it is, Marilyn? What is it? It's for a dog. It's for a dog. It's a dog goat. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dog goat, right? Let me know. <laughs> I wonder if there's a little hole for the little. Yeah, beautiful dog coat made for a Yorkshire blanket. Um, and it's glorious, that, yeah, if you've got a lovely little dog who um, who needs to be warm on its morning run, um, that's lovely. <laughs> Definitely a bib. Definitely a bib. Right, what else have we got? Oh, no, why weren't we told that we... we oh, we can't even try it. Look at that. The Yorkshire Chocolate Company Fruit and Nut. <sighs> While your dog is sitting warm in his coat... You could be munching on your fruit and nut. So there's loads of brilliant different different types of gifts. This is another um, Yorkshire roll blanket, £19.50. Only three left in stock uh, before the Christmas restock. Uh, perfect small size. Let's have a look. Uh, 120 by 150 centimetres. Lovely, beautiful Yorkshire made blanket in a roll there. There you go. Um, lots of uh, lots of individual little candles in here. Um, we'll buy the White Candle Company and uh, the uh, Denby Candles again. Some s beautiful smelling things in this box. I'm not sure what everything is. This is another local supplier, a Yorkshire um, ceramicist. A gorgeous tea light holder, just twelve pound fifty. Let's have a look at this. Oh, I'm all kind of ray wearing, wearing my dog bib. <laughs> Nuts for nuts, yeah, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that, how beautiful is that? It's got a little leather finger strap, little handle, as you lift it up to blow out your tea light, and uh, little stars cut into it so as the light can shine through. £12.50, beautiful, made by a local artist. 
lovely, lovely thing. Um, some beautiful gifts in here from Baxter and Boo. We'll do one more. Um, one more. What else? We've got a great teacher box, another gift set. Only three left of these. Um, £11.50. Uh, I've just got a thing around it, so I won't open it up. Free delivery um, if you add HD8 free Dell uh, to the checkout. And delivery by Wednesday, I think. Um, so, so yes. Um, before, ready, ready to be before uh, the end of school. Ready for your teacher's gifts. So there you go, Baxter and Boo, loads of brilliant, brilliant gifts. They will, all their um, items are listed on their, um, on their website, so the links are down below. Uh, and, uh, well, yeah, there we are. Thanks, Ian. Uh, Baxterandboo.co.uk. Uh, check it out. Um, I think that's it, isn't it? Um, all we've got to do, really, is eat the rest of these brownies, eat the rest of the cheese, pack up the lights, wish you all a very Merry Christmas, um, and uh, go home and get in the neck from my wife for being so long waffling on the telly box. Um, although when I say telly box it's really just my phone pointing at me in the office with a poster behind me and uh, a small Christmas tree and, uh, and Merwin in the corner e eating cake and cheese and drinking special brew. Um, so thank you to Adam, yeah. yeah of course, Adam there is no magic. Uh, next time. Available for children's parties and bar mitzvahs. Um, so yes, I thank you. Firstly, I want to say thank you to each and every both of you who logged on and commented. Uh, it's lovely to have people there, and we're not just talking out to the uh, to the ether on our own. Um, uh, we did have uh, about forty people at one point. Now there's just Jack shouting at me. Um, and uh, but thank you very much for coming on. Thank you all to all the local businesses who trusted me taking the mickey a little bit uh, throughout the process. If we do do this again, give me a little bit more notice with your products so I can look at them properly and, uh, and do it. Um, do, do we know how to get a magic kit? Yeah, 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 just, just if you wait for me outside, then uh, the, the, I've, got, I've got about 40 in the car and 10 quid. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mirror will tell you how to get one of those. I'll, I'll set a stall up at the end of Innsmill uh, in the morning with some coffee. Um, how many of those magic boxes from 1980 do I still have? Tracy, that is rude. 1987? <laughs> um, yeah, it's been really lovely coming on. Very, uh, very nice to talk and very nice to learn about all these brilliant local businesses. Thank you so much to the Denbydale Centre for all the hard work that they do, all the um, great work they do in the community, supporting our, um, uh, our community and those people who need help, not only at this time of year, but throughout the year. So if you do have any donations to help them, please do drop in to see them. They're in the, they're in the mill? Spring mill. Spring, Springfield, Springfield mill. mill. Springfield Mill. There's a um, charity shop in Denbydale. Uh, Skelmanthorpe. And there's a charity shop for them in Skelmanthorpe as well. So get down there, support them. Please, if you do want to donate to the Welcome Centre in Huddersfield, the Food Bank and more, please donate your gifts and your food across to them so they can help people in need during these challenging times. Um, and just uh, from me and Merwin who's here and from me and all my family, I want to wish everyone out there a very Merry Christmas. Stay safe. Wash your hands. And don't snog any random people. Space, space, safe. What's what? Space, space, safe. Space, space, safe. Space, space, safe. This has been a community broadcast for HD8 Network, live here in Denbydale. I'm John Danbury, and I'm going for a brandy. Thank you, and good night. Finishing up, I've got to press a button myself. Ah!